new shoes. Old bike, well, about three months old. We're going to ride around here today, tonight. We have a little sit down on the uh, bench. Looks like has been having a toot. Right. It is Friday the 20th of August. Um, I'm going to ride local tonight, just do a few more trails. So, without further ado, anyway, how long does this look? Looks like a gherkin. That's why I don't like gherkins, they always look like um, slugs. Ooh. Anyway, new shoes, 18, 18 pounds, not each. Like nine pounds for the pair and uh i always buy buy twice buy cheap so without further ado let's hit some new trails bye mr slug nice let's drop in I'm completely the wrong gear there we go thank you now a bit of e power tonight along the Wombun Railway Semester Valley Walk. Thank you. Used to ride around where I'm going now, about 15, 20 years ago. We always used to call it Richard's World because Richard, my brother-in-law, found it. Well, we both found it, but it's halfway between Smesto School and the primary school next to it and I can't think what it's called so what we'll do is we will drop down is it this one or this one I think they're both the same just one is one side of the stream and one is the other but as you can tell it's British summertime with all the mud only going to be a short shortish vlog tonight oh, I've just seen a, a track I can do now we used to come down there and go up this way. Here we go. So I'll be back in a moment. Around here somewhere we used to ride. And it's just a load of bomb holes. Now I'm trying to pick up where we used to ride. So it's not that way. Oh we'll go this way. Ugh. Don't believe it's August. And the amount of mud on the trails. So that it doesn't rain for a good two or three days. Uh, come on Lee. Get the memory banks working. The old nursery pond. Let's go through here. I'm trying to pick up the corner where we used to ride. We used to call it like I said, we used to call it Richard's World. And there's loads of bomb holes there. And we used to like do loads of digging. Ah, they blocked it off. This is the way. It's down along here and then drop left. Oh, yes, here it is. Just put my saddle down. We go right here. Oh, my God. Yes, I remember that. There's no way I can. Well, get the speed. Now, where's the bomb hole? It should be up here. Wrong gear. Here it is. This is the start of Richard's World, when we always used to drop in. Me, James, and Rich. There's the bomb hole. I should have come down. This always used to be flooded. A bit of heavy rain and it'd all be flooded. And you used to be able to get enough speed. No. My God, it has changed. There's the bank we used to drop down. In fact, I'm going to drop down that now. Take two. I'm in the right gear this time to drop in. A bit of power. Come on, need power. Oh, slid out. This place was brilliant back in the day. It's got to be 15, 20 years ago. We used to ride this all off all the drops and the walls and down here. Used to be able to 
<laughs> right up there. But you can't now because I'm just drifting. Even someone has put some nice steps in. Man made. I like it. On the right here used to be the old nursery. They basically turned it into a nature reserve. And all these drops here on the left, we used to ride down. And up the other side, we used to have what's called the Wall of Death. Oh my God, look at that for a jump. <laughs> wow. That was madness. Back in the day, that wasn't there, it was just a cliff drop. Looks like somebody has been doing some building. It's going up a little nosy around. Oh yeah, still all here. Looks like it's been um, quite well ridden. Oh, you can't get over there anymore. So I'm going to work my way up and round. Just see if I can do the wall of death. Come from down there. I'm going to ride along this very rooty, gnarly ledge. That used to be one way we could go. The wall of death is still there, but it looks like there's a, a tree down in the way. So we'll see about dropping in. I'll still do it. Might need to just roll out there. I suppose like somebody's having a, a toot. Let's try it. For old time's sake. Back in here. Oh. Just hit that. <laughs> and go over the top. But this tree wasn't there at the time. And we carry on down here. Like that. And then you do a jump into the dip to the top and drop in it. So good. We spent hours over here. Digging, jumping, spend a complete Sunday afternoon over here. Oh, nice bit of asbestos. And we're back in the pudding basin. So we shall pick up the Smesto Trail. Let's go. The right blast from the past. Hopefully Rich and James will see this. Let's see how much it has changed. It used to be like a little taboo trail back in the day. But since they knocked down that nursery. I think it used to be for, um, not criminals, you know, um, Asbos. But, uh, what do they call it? Payback, community payback is here, like that. And they used to get them, get them working there, doing uh, all the work. <coughs> right, we need to go left. Hi up. Oh, a bit of a dog in on the common. We'll go right. See if I can get my lefts and my rights tonight, correct. Oh, I don't want to go this way. I want to go this way. Yeah, that's where all the greenhouses used to be. And they'd have all the um, younger fenders planting pots and basically dossing. <laughs> We can go around this way, and it does. I think it's classed as Wittick, over to the left there. But there's a, a right maze of trails here. They sort of did them, but they don't maintain them. I have bought my lights tonight, just in case it gets a bit darker later. It's always uh, dark under here as well. I've also changed my setting on the GoPro for um, activity, we'll go right, because I had it set as standard when I'm bombing down the tracks. When I watch it, everything on the 
I'm going that fast, it's on hyper warp speed. Um, looks like everything's pixelating. But I am with Virgin Media and they're the, like, one of the worst home hub providers ever. So, we'll carry on along here. There are little tracks if you are riding or walking down the, the railway walk between Castlecroft and Compton. Like these little paths go off and you can join up with the Worcestershire, Worcestershire, uh, there, there, there. Worcestershire Canal. He's one of the old stations here. Amazing how he just stands and nature takes it back. So coming up to a really nice bridge in a minute that always reminds me of America. See you in a moment. Friday night at 25 past six, rush hour. All the suckers. <laughs> and I'm out on my bike. Oh, what a life. Living the dream, Vivienne El Sueno. This is that American bridge I was on about. Just reminds me of the bridge on the film Stand By Me, where I think it's about the 1980s. It is amazing, this bridge is. I have ridden past, there have been people sitting up on the top, and I always say, Don't you, Pokaloogie. I'm going to ride back so you can see it. Just passes over the canal. I think this is round about just past Compton, but it is absolutely amazing. I always think there's the canal going towards that way is towards Compton, Whitwick, and then Wumburn. And you can see like all the metalwork structure. It's amazing. And that way, they're up up canal is where we are heading now which is Aldersley etc 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 so we, sh we shall just we're heading towards Aldersley like I say and then we'll pick up a bit of the uh, canal and then some different routes tonight the um, old station and tea room by the rocking technical hopefully you can see it Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Right by the crossroads, by the rock, which is up there to the left. Um, excuse me. It's good though, because they've turned it into a tea room and utilised all the old facilities. Well done. It is towards the end of the railway walk now. You can go straight on, but it sort of comes to a dead end and meets the canal. But we are now at Aldersley Stadium. And about a year ago when the pandemic was in its full effect you couldn't ride through here um, and I was I always wondered why there was security guards and everyone was cordoned off all the Harris fencing um, and I you had to detour across behind the like, practice stadium and I asked one of the security guards the one day what you know is it the is it a vaccination centre and he said no it is a food bank. Obviously food was, um, people were off work, etc, etc, so it became a food bank. Just up there where the Wolves sort of training academy is. Here we have all of the five-a-side and they play hockey, etc, etc. So we're going to go up here on Route 81 to the right and go along the canal. Going left. Thank you. Straight on up there is where you come from Wolverhampton. That's my usual route. And then we always pick up this way, heading towards, um, God, what's it called? The fifth I 54, is it? I think, and all around there. So we'll ride along here for about a couple of miles and then I'm going to scooch left and go over all the canals, pick up the back end of Codsall. Here we are. You can go under the bridge that way. Today we're going to go up and over. And if you go straight on here, just take you to the I-54. We're going to go left here. Oh, excuse me. Thank you. And through the park. Now this track runs hmm, level with 
the canal. So you can ride on that side of the canal on the towpath, but it does get really muddy and it's not too bad along here in the summer. In the winter it's a different kettle of fish. So uh, back in a mile. Still on the Route 81. Sorry. Thank you. No. no. <laughs> Just coming up to the. I think it's Oxley Marina. Uh, hello, Mr. Moorhen or Mrs. Moorhen. Uh, today at work, I was like, "Shall I go out for a run? Shall I go out on my bike?" I know tomorrow, Saturday the 21st, looks like 100% chance of rain. So I got home from work. I thought, right, I'll go for a little run, did a 5k run, and then, oh, hello, what do we have here? Oh, thank you. Um, and I thought, right, that'll justify me going out on my e-bike, because I've been thinking about doing this vlog for quite some time, and uh, trying to piece together a ride. I think every ride I do is different, but I've got a good one coming up. And uh, I did it, did the bike ride on Tuesday just gone. And I took my acoustic Marin and it was brilliant. Really enjoyed it. So that'll be coming up after the weekend, probably middle of next week. Uh, that over there, this runs level with the Wobaston Road, which takes you towards Claregate. And this canal eventually takes you to Brood and um, Wheaton Aston. I think eventually it'll take you towards um, Penkridge and beyond. Oh, anyway, this is a bit boring, so back in a moat. You are riding um, this route along the canal. You can, as soon as you get towards this bridge where I am, I think it's Billbrook. If you go back on yourself up here, you'll see the road it brings you out onto, which I think is the Penderford Road. Let's just have a look. I normally come from the left-hand direction from I-54, where you've got Jaguar Land Rover, etc. Oh, this is called Monarch's Way. So, we are now joining, rejoining the Route 81. Um, I will be cross-country any moment soon. Look at this. That is the queue for a cheap shopping console. Either people are <laughs> not wanting to cook on a Friday night, or the chips are really good there. But I tell you what, they smell good. Oh, so hungry. Mm. I'm gonna go up there and ride down, see if I can get away with it. No, I bottled it. I looked how steep the steps were and I thought, nah. <laughs> I want to go home in one piece. Just riding up past Springfield Care home. Normally I'll go straight on here, but tonight we're going to go right. And this is an alternative track across the field. It takes you through to Oaken. And then from Oaken, I'm going to navigate along through to the back end of Bradshaw's and do a new bit. <coughs> I haven't ridden for at least a year. Excuse me. Trouble is though, at the end of here is the inevitable gate lift and it doesn't open because it's not a bridle. <coughs> I think I've uh, incorporated a fly. Oh dear. Oh, just when you think it's safe to go back. Hello Mr Pussycat. I bet you're worth a few quid. Simon Hayes, god damn they're ugly. Hello. Let's see if I'll make friends. Hello. I'll just grab you and sell you. I'm sure it's a Simon Hayes. Hello. Funny things. Lovely eyes though. Blue. 
very azul. Deep blue eyes. Anyway, I'll have to go. You are what are known in Spanish as El Gato, which is of the cat. Yes, you, El Gato. See? Si? Comprende? Para? Okie dokie, this is the A41 from Cosford to Wolverhampton. It's very busy. This is Shop Lane, and we are going that way when the traffic clears, but it's still rush hour. Seven o'clock. Oh, I could have gone then. That's going to be interesting. I've only ever come or lifted my bike over this, coming the other way. So I've got to get my e-bike through that gap. Wish me luck. Monarch's way, here I come. Success. He's had his wheat a bit. <laughs> got this, um, I'm surprised this field hasn't been combine harvested yet. So this is Monarch's way. I've already done 11 and a half miles. It's amazing. Rode this in the winter. God damn it, it was muddy. Completely the opposite now. I am so glad I've got my um, shin protectors on tonight and knee pads because I look like a stormtrooper, but who cares? This bike could do with the dangle cleaners now. I am flicking between my acoustic hardtail Marin and my e bike at the moment, which is quite entertaining. Just uh, I have put some new back brake pads in my, oh hello Mr. Rabbit, in my Marin nail trail and I've took some links out the chain on this because as you're probably aware I kept saying the chain would jump off. So I took some links out, put a narrow wide front chain um, ring on and guess what, earlier the chain come off. Unbelievable. Now we need to, there's a little bridge here somewhere. We need to scooch through. Have I missed it? I'm sure it's not this far up. Oh, when I find it, I'll come back. Hiding. Oh. This took a bit of exploring to find. I think it brings a bridge. Oh God. Oh. <laughs> that was a, uh, I knew it was there, but I didn't realize how narrow it was. God damn, it's gone dark as well. Like I said, I've bought my bike lights just in case I get back a bit later than anticipated because the nights are drawing in a bit now. To be fair this is quite clear. I've looked it off expecting because of what I've been riding through recently it to be majorly overgrown. I think this pops me down by like a community hall. I remember rightly like a scout hut or something like that. I never really pay much attention, I just like to see where I'm going. I'm not strawberrying tonight either. Now we need to go that way. Looks like um, a what you would call it? Like a cricket club hut. Uh, we need to go right here. Yep, the staff's way. We're on it, like a love sonnet. We go left here. Oh, for God's sakes. Bloody. Oh, what you need? Chainsaw. Zzz, zzz. Through you go. There's that woman I have on my videos every now and again. What, another one? You're joking. Okay. This is a public footpath stroke bridleway that. Very nice. Brings us out by the back of, oh, where is it, Lee? Come on, think. Purton Golf Course. And because I was watching some of my old vlogs the other day, and I always forget what I've ridden and what I've put on, and I don't like to duplicate a lot of stuff, but I normally ride from up there down, or from that way, this way. Um, and I'm going to go past the concrete penis very soon. Evening. Oh, bless him. Point Dexter. <laughs> um, in one of my previous vlogs I did, it was by 
um, the old military base, or I think it was like an RAF base in Perton. But there was like a big metal plaque and it showed you where everything was. Um, and that would be that way, but we're gonna go that way and do a nice little descent back into Pattingham. So there'll be the concrete penis very shortly and then downhill, downhill. Concrete gentleman's relish. And we'll start at the shaft. Here's the shaft. Oh, it's a bendy one. Let's see if I can get an aerial view. And shaft end helmet. <laughs> Glass. Oh dear, I wonder if you could see that from Google Earth. Be interesting. What you need to do is get a spray can. Probably a purple one would be uh, relevant. <laughs> anyway, enough of um, genitalia. Let's rock and ride. Okie dokie. Just ridden from over there, which is back end of Bradshaw's. And normally I go <clears throat> right there, but tonight we're going to go left pick up this old trail I used to do. Right, here's a couple of jokes for you. I'm not sure if you can see that. Right, what I want you to do is pass on this. Hello. What's that? Blackberry messenger. <laughs> Dad jokes. And what's this? Chuck Berry. Sorry, it doesn't get any better. Now, there is a track through these woods on the right hand side here normally looking at it it's that overgrown i don't think where is it is let's try this it's um nice little normally there's little trees down though that's the only problem with it also another dad joke for you i couldn't remember the answer to it the other night here we go oh, oh lay you could have done that um What's a par pirate's favourite letter? You think it'd be R, but I think it's the C. <laughs> Sorry. Here all week. Try the beef. Oh, another log. It looks like this has been very well walked in. Normally get horses coming through here as well. This will just join us back up onto the track where I was riding along. And you go, come to a T-junction. And you normally go right at this shot. Oh god, rock. Bring us out on that bridle way. All these overgrown bracken and ferns, etc. Still causing me problems. Oh there you go. Get round that one and that one. And here is the bridle path. So we'd have come from that way. And at that end you can go left and it takes you along Pattingham Ridge, I think. Merton Ridge, that's what it's called. You can see all the old shit down here. But this brings us out on the road between the A41. There's a pub on the right hand side of the A41, I can't think what it's called. And it brings us out between here and Passingham. I haven't got a clue what the, name, what the name of the road is. I might say at the end, there's normally loads of people fly tip down here. This is a bridle way, so I know I'm perfectly legal. And when we get to the end, I'm gonna go left. This is where cars normally park. Have a bit of as your father. Leave the Johnny Rubbers, dogging, you name it. God, it stinks of piss there. Oh, like a chemical toilet. Okay, we're gonna go this way. In fact, in a moment, I'm gonna go left. These are the walls of Patzel Park Hall. Um, massive estate, I've ridden through there before. Oh, it still smells, I think the shit's spreading. Anyway, we're gonna go along Merton Hill Road so I can pick up a nice little downhill section backwards. See you in a moment. Oh, I just spotted a cheeky little bridleway. Double checked with someone I can ride down here. Oh, oh yes, this is another one to add to my memory map 
of my brain. We do right here. Evening. Hola, buenas tardes, Quitel. Con risa bonita. Si. Hey, ho. Oh. Great Moor Road is where I normally ride up from. And that's where I'll be riding down to shortly. Up there on the left is Purton Golf Course. But I've never done, well I've ridden this, but never GoPro'd it. And it's going to be muddy, I think mean, it is. Because all the water runs down here. Got it, it's dropping dark. There's a couple of um, badger sets as well. Oh my god, why you far, Stuart? God, it's gone down. That there on the left is a badger set. So, of course, oh, don't need brakes down here, you just let the mud slow you down. Better riding up it to be fair. Can't get the camera clean. It's wet down here. Winter, summer, spring, autumn. Give it a season and it will be. It's not too bad down this end. And I'm gonna ride down um, Flash Flood Lane or Flash Lane, I think it's called. We can go right in a moment down here, if I remember correctly, but it might be a bit overgrown. Um, God, it is dark, especially wearing sunglasses. No, I'm not, I'll, I'll stay on this track. Oh, I'm glad I've got my shin pads on. I just got whacked in the uh, leg by a big branch. There's a twig really, but don't tell anyone. Now, I should be able to scooch through to the right here, about here because this avoids going through or over, sorry, a gate. There's another way just there to the left as well I could have done. And this, oh my god, here we go. This will definitely be muddy down here. And we're back on the uh, path of doom. Oh, hello Mr Nettle. Goodbye Mr Nettle. There's so many fields where the Combine harvester hasn't been round and it looks like everything's ready to be harvested. Mind you, when it rains they can't do it. I can't do it! Oh, I like to help MPE. Hopefully the activity setting on the GoPro is a bit better tonight. I'll edit it and put it on later. Oh, <coughs> excuse me. I've decided to keep my videos basic now. Um, I was going a bit crazy. I just started off with my crazy feet. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'm just going to ride along here. You can go left. I'll get my lefts. <laughs> I'm just a good idea. Nothing could possibly go wrong. And it possibly did. Normally, there's a bridge on the left here where we ride across to from Trescott Ford. But I'm going to ride up through the stables and pick up Flash Flood Lane. Little gap cut through that you could get through before where you could just put your wheel put your bike in a wheelie position and push the bike through they've decided to put wood across it so now you have to lift your bike over the gate but it's amazing because the horses can go through during the day anyway stop moaning that's the bottom of great moor road where i've just been across the top and done the downhill that is moor lane that takes you up into Pattingham and onto Clive Road and now we are going to go down this where all the you see has been down here this is where James rode his um, giant e-bike I don't mean it's massive I just mean it's uh, and he got water ingress um, it is actually a public right of way you can drive your car down here if you want to see what would be good for him bring a Tesla down here See if it shorts the battery out. If you don't need the toilet, you will now. <laughs> All this running water. Oh well, it's cleaning me, boy. Oh, it's gone dark. Oh, should have put my lights on. At least it's not deep, so if I do lose traction and have to put my foot down, my new shoes will get a clean. Oh, bloody hell, it is slippery. Imagine driving down here like in your Land Rover and stuff. 
and find that somebody else is coming the other way. There's actually no passing points. That's just gone the right here, so it's a bit um, less sequela. Sequela in Spanish is wet, and seco is dry. So if you're asking for a dry white wine, it's seco blanco vino. But it won't actually be dry because you'll be drinking it. It'll be wet. Now, oh nice, bit of fly tip in there. God, is there anywhere that people don't fly tip? I mean, even the farmers who go to council buildings and the government, if they're angry with uh, the local authorities, and uh, spread manure and pig shit and everything down there outside uh, the local civic centres, etc. Now, down here, on the right, is where? Oh, it goes a bit deeper there. Eh? Oh, this is going to be fun. Come on, lay down. Oh, it's very muddy. On the right is where uh, you can ride along the I need me wellies. Have you? Oh, rookie error. <laughs> Class. And I got the grindies. Anyway, back in a mo. It was the end of the ride now tonight. Uh, I must have seen about five, between five and seven fly tipping, oh hello, places. And I've just noticed the Hollybush at Ebb Street is completely boarded up and wind is put in. And I am very surprised that has never. Let's have a little look around. It's a shame, really, because it used to be such a good pub. This is a prime location, though, for building houses. All boarded up. I am surprised it hasn't been set on fire, to be honest. All this land down here belongs to the pub. Sometimes in these places they have what's called um, um, property guardians, where they have... Oh, it does look like there has been a fire. Terrible. It's a shame. You know, prestige building. When you used to walk in, I'm sure there was a pound coin or 50p glued to the floor, and people always used to stop and try and pick it up. Quite entertaining. I've only been in a handful of times, but you know, people would rather go to the supermarket now, I think, buy 24 cans of cider, lager for 12 99 as opposed to travel out to a pub and have a beer, which costs three to four quid average on these days. And there's the Merry Hill Flats, I'm nearly home. Just done 19.5 miles. And there's a crazy dude. And he's on the key rally stage. 5090 Gambon, Dubri Firkin. Anyway, good towards the end of the ride now. I will get closer to home and I'll just do a piece of the camera and say ciao. 34% left on the battery. There is St Anne's Church. I am two thirds of the way up Spring Hill Lane. That way takes you down towards Hamble. That is Dirty Foot Lane. And there is just up there. As you go up and you can go right, it takes you towards Shaw Lane. The Greyhound pub is down there and it was chock a block when I just rode past. So I am at tonight's um, ride end. Hope you've enjoyed it, because I have. <laughs> um, don't forget to give me the thumbs up, click the ding dong. I should be able to insert it about here. Ding, 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 ding. And if there are any comments my way, I don't mind. And then we will finish. Hasta pronto. Ciao. Oh, they're all dirty now. Never mind. See you soon.